Alright, so I'm gonna actually show you this time in this video how to do the snail shell. And that's the one where it's a spiral and it's pretty long and pointy and it has the little hole for the snail obviously at the end. So just like the scallop seashell, we want to give the illusion that each of those spirals is actually three-dimensional and rounded. So if you notice on my snail shell, it's actually covered up so I'm not actually going to be shading in all the way out to the point. But of course if your seashell does have that point visible, you can always just continue the steps because everything with these seashells, because they are spiraled and they have those different layers, it's actually just repeating your steps over and over until obviously till it's done. Um, so for this one of course we know that the circle here is actually the darkest portion of our seashell because that's the hole that goes into the seashell. So of course along this edge here is actually going to be the darkest spot of our seashell. Again, we are using the high key values, so that means they are the lighter values from the medium grays to the whites. So again, if you already have that flat surface on your pencil, you may use it. If not, just be careful that you don't get too much. If you notice, I get a really thin mark as opposed to my flat surface, I get a really flat, smooth mark. So we want to use these flat, smooth marks. If you get these points because you just sharpen your pencil, don't worry. After you shade a couple of times, it will start to get flat again and you'll get these nice, smooth, soft values. So we're going to go ahead and start here on the inside. Notice I'm using a little bit darker pressure, a little bit more pressure than I normally would. And you kind of want to get enough of your area in your darkest value first so that way you know where your darkest value starts. If you start too light then you're gonna have a hard time figuring out where that dark needs to be, how much light you need to have. You don't want too much light because then it won't appear like it has that hole. It won't appear to have that depth. And then of course once you figure out where your deepest darkest value is you can start releasing your pressure as you shade out. Remember, you want to shade it so that way there are no pencil marks, no pencil strokes. You can't see the actual stroke of your pencil. We don't want to see the, these marks. We only want to see the nice, smooth transition from our dark to our light. You notice I'm just adding more layers here just because I want it to be a little bit darker. I'm pushing a little bit harder. Just like that. Okay, so now we have this little indention here. We've made it appear as though it is going into our seashell and we are able to see inside our shell. So next we're going to do this first little S shape we've got going on here. Now depending on where your light source is coming from depends on where you put your values. We know that because each of these little spirals here is rounded, we do want the darkness to be closer to these lines and it gets lighter as it comes up. So again, depending on where your light source is, um, depends on how you're going to shade this X, S section here. So if my light source is coming from this other side or coming from in front of my seashell, of course my orientation of my actual paper is this way, so this is my top. I want it to appear like my light source is actually coming from where the camera is actually positioned. 
So I need to have highlights going all across this middle of my sections. So because this whole entire shell is rounded on its own, these outer sections here are going to have more darkness to it. So I'm going to start off with my dark value. Again, I'm using really light pressure only because if I make a mistake, it's easier to erase it. And we want the top portion of this also to be lighter. So this is a little weird one. This one you are gonna end up shading just a little bit all the way across, just to give that illusion that it does have value to it. So just very light grays here, very light pressure. And of course, more pressure here. And it lightens up as it comes towards the inside. So we're gonna do it just like that for right now. So this next part, because if there is an indention here, we do have that crease of our spiral. We're gonna make it a little bit darker. So we'll have our darkness start here. We want the darkness to curve around the top here. And of course, around the edge here. Remember, you can always change and reposition your paper so that way as you make your strokes for your values, you can adjust your paper. You don't have to adjust your hand because when you change the motion that your hand and then your wrist and your fingers are making, then it's going to be more complicated and you start to lose that actual movement of your wrist and it's going to make it more complicated and you won't get those same values. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave no highlights for right now so that way I can come back around and add my highlights with my eraser afterwards. that part and again notice it starts to appear like this is higher positioned higher on the shell than this crease is here and that's the illusion that we want to give is that each of these little spirals is actually bubbled so we're gonna do just exactly the same thing we did with this spiral here we're gonna do the same thing here You can see it already starts starting to look three-dimensional and we don't even have those highlights yet. Of course my last little spiral here there's just a little bit of a section to it so I don't have to shade in too much and notice when I make my shading when I make my strokes with my pencil I'm actually moving my pe pencil in the direction that my shapes are. The way that I want my shading and my highlights to form is the direction that I'm making my strokes. So if we make really straight, straight strokes with our pencil, then our object is going to appear very straight and flat. So we want to make sure that we are making our pencil markings in that same form and same direction that our shapes in our object are actually going. Okay, 
So this is actually fairly dark for some shading. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take my eraser. And I want to keep that illusion that my highlight is here in the front of each of these little spirals. So I'm just going to lightly, with my eraser, come in, of course along this edge here. You can notice even that slight bit of highlight, I mean I barely even rubbed my eraser on, on my pencil markings. And I'm already getting that real nice illusion of a highlight. I'm going to do one more here on this edge. I erase my line a little bit, so I'm going to go back in and draw it. And that's it for your snail shell values.